Some say Chinese is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and learning it is almost impossible. So learning Chinese, the most difficult thing. Very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong. So I'm sort of tone deaf. I can't really hear them. I think the cultural mindset is the biggest complication for the us. The grammar. It's just complicated. So much. Only because you're not learning it in the right way. Why not try Take Away Chinese, where you can take some Chinese away and experience progress day by day. Take away Chinese. We will promise you a difference. Welcome to Take Away Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin with Mr. Tony Reed in the studio. Hi, Tony. Niu Niu, what is going on? Well, everything's going on. I feel very lively and happy since you know everything's going on. What's going on with you? How's your weekend? Weekend was pretty awesome. I actually took advantage of. Both days off. I think most people were working. Oh, on I、Sunday. had only one day yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. So I had my Sunday off. So I just kind of kicked my feet up and worked on some other things. But it was just nice to just relax. Even though I only had one day off, I still had a blast because、yeah. I did. I did some shopping. I know it sounds, you know, a little bit full into the gender stereotype. Girls、oh, go yeah, shopping, yeah, but yeah. actually, no more. it made it. me happy. <laughs> of course, it did. Nowadays, it's like you don't really have to go out there and、uh, browse and browse and walk and walk and just go. Yeah, waste time window shopping.、Mall. I cannot do that. It's not my thing. Yeah, you and I can hang out because we're <laughs> kind of the same shopper. I say, 我不喜欢逛街。不喜欢。嗯哼。逛街，逛街，哦，逛街。Yes, 逛街 means that you're walking, you're browsing. 街 is the、uh, streets,、uh-huh. and 逛 means that you're not only walking on it, you're also, you know,、um, walk around and browse and check things out. So 逛街 can also be translated as go shopping.、Uh, window shopping. Window.、Yeah. Well, yeah, but not only window well, shopping. You're not buying anything, you, right? You can buy things when you're 逛街 of <laughs> okay, course. Okay. All right. Okay. The idea is that 逛街 means you walk out on the street and、mm-hmm. do shopping. 我不喜欢逛街，我喜欢线上购物。线上购物。购物。What is this? 线 means line. Yeah. 上 is on. So 线上 online.、Uh-huh. 购物，购购买。Uh, purchase, and、uh, 物 means stuff or goods. So 线上购物 means purchase stuff online.、Okay. Go shopping online. 我喜欢线上购物 Well, yeah. How about you? For me, I I like to go out and try stuff on because my body is a bit different. Like I can't fit、because、most things. Very tall、so. and handsome. <laughs> Well, I, I, my body just doesn't <laughs> slide into some of the shirts that are on display, so I have、okay. to go in and try them on.、Oh. And so,、um, but yeah, I don't spend a lot of time in malls because I'm pretty loyal to the brands that、ah. I buy. I just kind of go keep going to the same place, so it shaves off all of that. What is it, Guangjie? Guangjie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 那你的品牌忠诚度很高。品牌 That sounds negative. What does that mean? It's not negative. It's a noun. It's a really <laughs> Proper neutral noun, 品 carries the meaning of 商品 goods, whereas 牌 is a brand. Okay. 牌子 so 品牌 is an official way of saying brand, and we say 品牌忠诚度忠诚 is loyal,、mm. whereas 度 is degree. Okay. 高 means high. When I say 你的品牌忠诚度很高 I mean that you have a high degree of loyalty to certain brands. 对的 <laughs> That's nice. I don't have that. I well go with the flow. I go with the flow unless that brand has really, really, really won my heart. It happens too, but it's just, I'm very picky when it comes to brands. Oh really?、Mm. <laughs> This can be a fun topic. Emotional shopper. Emotional shopper for sure. But I think to recognize a brand and to have a certain image of it、mm-hmm. and have trust in the brand is something very nice. And we can talk about it for this episode. Sounds good. Let's do it. And for our dear listeners, if you're interested in Chinese culture and you want to get grips with the Chinese language, then this is the show for you. Stick with us for thirty minutes, and you soon see the rewards. And for more fun Chinese learning, follow our Facebook page, CRI Learn Chinese, to watch many fun videos and live streams. 
But now, let's provide you with some free Chinese for takeaway. You buy things, you can buy clothes, right? You buy things, but you don't buy the good ones. You buy the good ones. 那你了解中国品牌吗？以前我对中国制造的印象主要是便宜、实惠。不过现在我觉得中国的高端品牌。越来越多了 Sounds like two indecisive people trying to size up certain brands. <laughs> yes, and also, I think perhaps one of the persons is a expat living in China. Since we're talking about the you know image of Chinese brands or the impression of Chinese brands, it could、yeah. be a fun conversation between you and me. You know? Oh yes, I would imagine so. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the conversation. For the first sentence, 你买东西会看牌子吗 Ah,、uh, this is、uh, do you consider the brand when you buy things?、Mm-hmm. So, needs、uh, you, you.、Uh, 买东西 Yes. So this is、uh, buy is my, and then 东西 is something, right? Yes. So buy stuff,、mm. purchase, buy stuff, go shopping, 买东西 I think 买东西 is a very colloquial and very Vivid way to say go shopping, so buy stuff. Oh yeah, that's really useful. Yes, buy things. Uh huh. Easy.、Uh, next, we have this "hui" thing that keeps coming up.、Um, is this is this then or? "Hui" <laughs> here actually means would, would, would、okay. or will,、um, because it can also mean able to or can do something.、Mm. But in this sense, it means will. So technically speaking, the sentence would be translated as "Will you look at the brand when you buy stuff?" So it's saying, would you consider the、mm, brand? Hypothetical, huh? Yeah, hypothetical. So、okay. hui would be hui will would. or would. Kan is the look. Look. And then pai zi. Uh huh. This is、um, brand, right? This is brand, and it's a more colloquial way than、uh, <laughs> 品牌 <laughs> 品牌品牌、yeah. That's the thing in the Chinese language. I feel like most occasions you have the official word.、Mm. The official word is mostly to. Uh, character words, yeah, and you can use them in articles in official settings, and there's also the、um, rather colloquial, rather casual way of saying things, and you use those things in your daily conversation.、Mm. Here, 牌子 is a rather colloquial way of saying brand. 牌子牌子好 So, 你买东西会看牌子吗？会。虽然说只买对的不买贵的，但我还是对大品牌更放心。So here,、uh, it's yes. Also, it is said that、uh, only buy the right ones, not the expensive ones.、Mm-hmm. So I still feel more at ease with big brands. <laughs> so、yes. here, the hui here is actually a response to what、yes. was asked, right? So it's、mm-hmm. not. Would or could is here is kind of saying like、uh, yes or I will.、Right? I will. Yes, that's、uh, another thing about answering yes or no questions in Chinese. I hear some Chinese teachers say to their foreign students that you know in the Chinese language we we do not really have the word yes. That's not the case. Actually, 是 would be a yes, 对 would be a yes. But I think they're saying that because when you're answering a yes or no questions,、mm-hmm. you don't really Like in English, directly say yes. You would answer with the verb in the sentence.、Mm. So here, 你会看牌子吗 Would you check out the brand? And the answer is 会 I will. And sometimes, if you say 你吃饭了吗 Did you eat? 吃了 you, Instead, yeah, exactly. Instead of saying yes, I did, you say I ate. So 吃了 So you answer the question with the verb in the question. 
Uh, you can't say "shi,"、sure, huh? You don't. Well, people understand if you say "shi,"、sure, but it's it shows people would think that, ha,、huh, that foreigner. <laughs> yeah,、know? yeah. You can't say "bu" either, right? <laughs> uh, sometimes you say "bu," sometimes you say "mei you." Haven't. Yeah. So yeah, that's answering yes or no questions in Chinese. So here, "hui" means yes, I will.、Mm, and then next up, it's a "sui ran," "shuo." So "sui ran," "sui ran" is、um, although. Although. And then "shuo" is say. Say. Right. So although it's said. Although it's said, or although people say. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then it's a "zhi mai dui de." Bu mai gui de. Oh, that's really good. You pronounced it really well. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite well. <laughs> okay, awesome. And that's、uh, that means、uh, only by the right one. So zhi mai. So mai is by. Uh huh. Uh, dui is right. 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 And then zhi must be mean only. Only. Yeah. And then、uh, bu mai don't buy, and then gui is expensive. Yes. And then de, so de implies that something is expensive. Yeah. Yes. So、uh, you use de after a adjective、mm-hmm. to make it the things that the adjective is describing.、Mm-hmm. So dui de would mean the right stuff, gui de the expensive stuff.、Mm-hmm. So with the de. That serves that function, and 只买对的不买贵的 I feel like it's a set phrase in Chinese. It's not classical or with a huge, you know, background story like the idioms or the set other set phrases in Chinese.、Yeah. But it's it's said very often so that people have this memory of the saying in their mind a lot.、Mm. This actually means. The expensive ones are not always exactly the good ones or the right ones for you. Well said. Yeah, thank you. 只买对的，不买贵的。Hmm. And next we have a dan wo hai shi. Hmm. Dan here、uh, means but, right? Yes. Okay. And then was I hai shi? So hai shi here. Is still is still、uh-huh, okay. I still and、Got、here、it. you might have already noticed that in this sentence we say 虽然 something something although 但 but something something.、Uh, that's a thing in English. You don't put although and but in one sentence ever. In、mm. Chinese, you kind of always put them in one sentence. Sometimes you can omit one. Yeah, but. Uh, technically speaking, if we are pursuing 100% grammatically correct sentences, we、mm-hmm. always put 虽然但是 or 虽然但 so although and but in one sentence. Okay.、Mm-hmm. That's the structure, and、uh, continue with 对大品牌更放心对大品牌 so 对 <laughs> is 对的 is means right or 对的 means right, and here 对 is towards or to. It suggests the direction. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So then we have a、uh, 大品牌 Yep. So this is like big brands. Big、right? brands. Yes. And then 更 coming up after it. That means like.、Um, It's like the comparative here, yeah, the adjective, right? So it greater, would be bigger, bigger, larger, longer, whatever. It's just the er. It's a putting in front of the adjective er in the Chinese language. So you、mm, say, interesting. Yeah, you say the placement of the adjective. I mean, would, I guess it would be easier if it was next to like gung da. Right. Yeah, but here, 更放心 is more at ease or more assured. 放心、mm-hmm. 放心 is a good word because 放 means to place,、mm-hmm. and 心 is heart.、Oh, yeah. So if you're putting your heart into the right place, or if you're putting your heart back into your chest, it means that you're at ease, right? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Taking your heart out and putting it places. All right. <laughs> 放心放心 would be assured or at ease. So I'm more. Comfortable with major brands, basically,、mm. and then, 的确如此。那你了解中国品牌吗 ？That's true. Do you know anything about Chinese brands?、Mm-hmm. So, uh, 的确 right? Yes. So this one is like an agreement, uh, like indeed or indeed, yeah. Okay, and then 如此<laughs> 如此如此 perfect 如此 So this is um like that like that. Yeah. So 如 is like 此 is well 此 is actually this. So it's indeed like this. So you're 
really, really agreeing with the other person.、Oh, so you, it's either one or the other, or do you have to say both? Um, you often say both.、Okay. You can say 的确 Yes,、oh, but、right. 如此 is always like this, so you can't really say 如此 only. So 如此 is it's like this. It doesn't really make sense if you only say 如此 but、uh, you can omit 如此 and just say 的确 Can we say 差不多差不多差不多 is depends on the context. The, the, yeah, yeah, I don't context, think in、so. this context it works because 差不多 is more or less. Right, but here you're trying to agree with the other person really hard. You're、okay. using two words to agree with that person. So,、okay. 的确 uh, indeed, 如此 like this. So it's indeed what you said. It's really true. I agree with you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and then we have、uh, na na、mm-hmm. ni liao jie. Yeah. So I think na here is like then. Then.、Right? Mm-hmm. And then knees you. Yep. And then liao jie. This one is um, uh, like to understand something. Yes, liao jie would be understand something, know something, familiar with something. Familiar、right? with something.、And、It's then, like saying when you're saying 我认识这个人 I know this person. Yeah. It's I know this person, and if you say 我了解这个人 it's like I have a deeper understanding towards this person. I know something. More about this person. I understand him, or I am familiar with him. I have more information on him.、Oh. So here,、um, when you say 了解中国品牌 it's of course we can translate it as understand or have knowledge about Chinese brands. Yeah. 中国品牌 Chinese brands. Chinese brands. It's、yeah. more like saying,、um, do you have a comparatively further understanding towards? Do you have any、brand? exposure to it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then we have a really long sentence here.、Mm. 以前我对中国制造的印象主要是便宜实惠。不过现在我觉得中国的高端品牌越来越多了。Ooh, okay, so this is in the past. My impression of made in China、mm-hmm. was mainly that they were cheap and affordable. But、mm-hmm. now I think there are more and more high-end brands in China. It looks long, but if we separate them or break them in words, it's not that complicated. Let's try. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> so, Yi Qian, this is,、uh, I guess, this would suffice for in the past in the or past, before. Before, yes, perfectly.、Right. 我 I uh, due towards.、So、due is in this case is towards, right? Uh-huh. Uh, 中国 China. Uh, 制造 This is、uh, to make something or manufacture. Yes, uh, 制造 again is a rather official way of saying make or manufacture.、Hmm. And 中国制造 is a set phrase made in China. 中国制造 Okay, 中国制造、uh-huh. made in China. The so something made in China. <laughs> Uh, yin xiang. Yin xiang. So this is like an impression. Impression. Or, 印象 All right. You can say, 你对我的印象怎么样 What's your impression on、oh, me? 怎么样 Yeah.、Oh, okay. 印象 Mm-hmm. And then,、uh, 主要主要 So 主要 is、um, primary or main? Yes, primarily, mainly, overall, most, something like that.、Mm, okay. 实呃、uh, Is 便宜实惠便宜实惠 So this is、um, like、uh, affordable and cheap, right? Yes, 便宜 is cheap.、Mm. So 便宜 um, <laughs> sometimes there is another saying, 便宜没好货 It says that a bargain can never be good. Something cheap is never good. A bargain <laughs> can never be good. Um,、uh, 便宜 is cheap. <laughs> 没 have not. 好 good. 货货物 goods. So cheap is always bad. But It's like we say there are different sayings. People believe in different things. It's not always the case, but 便宜 actually means cheap,、hmm. um, inexpensive, and 实惠实惠 is affordable. And also 实惠 carries the meaning that this is both inexpensive and quality.、Hmm. So we say 质优价廉 So 质 is 品质 the quality 优 good. 价价格 price 廉低廉 low so good stuff with low price 实惠 so 实惠 I would say is a、um, positive word whereas 便宜 is a neutral word. Okay. So 便宜实惠 cheap and affordable. 
All right, so 不过 here is a but. But 不过 yeah, another but. Yeah. Another but. Well,、uh, the thing is, 但是 is more like a hard but, whereas 不过 is a rather soft one. So it's like a, a conjunction. Yeah, yeah. So、uh, I feel like 但是 is like you are making a V turn in the sentence, whereas、okay. 不过 is you are making a U turn. It's more, you know. Okay, a little more subtle, huh? <laughs> a little more subtle. Okay. Uh huh. 不过不过现在 is now.、Mm-hmm. 我觉得 I think. Or I feel, of course. I feel. Uh, 中国的高端 I end. 中国的高端 This is Chinese high end ping pai brands. Yes. 越来越 So this is getting better and better. Uh, 多了 So more.、Right? Yes, more and more.、Mm-hmm. 高端 is. I would say an easy word because gao is high and duan is end. Literally put together, high end, high end product, gao duan pin pai, high end brand. 越来越多 more and more. So 越来越 is a phrase that we're quite familiar with. We say 越来越好 better and better, 越来越大 bigger and bigger. And bigger. Yeah, and 越来越多 more and more.、Hmm. Yes, so that's the conversation. Here we have 便宜实惠 as a expression、uh, that means cheap and affordable and、um, good product. So high cost effective,、mm. and we also have 高端品牌 that's high end brand. I think we can use these expressions to talk about stuff, talk about you know the market. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Do you have any other questions? Oof,、uh, not really. As long as you handle the long sentences, I think I'll be good. Okay, let's try the conversation, and you are going to be the one who said the long sentence. Really? Yeah, because you know it's a conversation <laughs> between me, a Chinese resident, local, and also a expat like you, right? Okay. okay let me ask. You buy things? Will you look at brands? Will you say that? 只卖贵的，不卖贵的，但我还是对的品牌更放心。的确如此。那你了解中国品牌吗？以前我对中国制造的印象主要是便宜实惠，不过现在我觉得中国的高端品牌越来越多了。Perfect. You handled it quite、oh. well. Practice <laughs> does make perfect. Hey. You're listening to Takeaway Chinese with myself, Niu Hongling, and Tony. We would love to hear from you. Send us your thoughts via email to learnchinese at cri dot com dot cn. Coming up next, let's talk more about the Chinese brands and our impressions on Made in China. Don't go away. So you will take some Chinese away. Welcome back to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin, joined by Tony. So, Tony, what is your impression on Made in China? 你对中国制造是什么印象啊 ？Because you've been here quite long, and you buy things in China, and you compare different brands. I'm just curious. Hmm. Well, I, again, I'm I'm really loyal to brands, and I think that's.、Uh, A bit difficult for the the Chinese market because I'm a stubborn consumer. I've always you're a loyal consumer. I like that. Remember, 品牌忠诚度 Yes,、uh-huh. 品牌忠诚度忠诚度很高,很高 very high. Yes. <laughs> so I stick with a lot of、um, brands. For example, like shoes. I wear Timberland. I'm I'm not sure if you've heard of this brand, but it's a really popular shoe brand. But in general, I mean, I think that a lot of the the quality of the、um, the products are are good. They're usable. I'm kind of I'm not really picky when it comes to these kinds of things as long as it works really well. And I think it depends on the nature of the product too. I、um, you know, for example, like cars. And again, it must be has something to do with my loyalty since I've always bought Nissan or something like that. <laughs> I would like always buy, you know. And so I think it's it depends on the kind of customer you are. Yeah, I agree with you. And also, I think when it comes to brands, 品牌 the thing is when you have had a very successful purchase. About a certain product、mm-hmm. in a certain brand, you've got this really nice image.、Right. You've got this、um, impression on this product, on this brand, and that is what many brands are looking for. They try really hard. 
啊、uh, ，working on their brand image. We say 品牌形象，品牌形象。形象 yes, that's the image or、uh, the impression people have over it. And they hope that after the、um, endless effort of their pursuing the right product, of them them putting in a lot of thinking, a lot of you know high tech into their brands, into their product, people would have a better impression on it. And recently, I learned that there is a China Brand Day. Oh, another holiday.、10th. Okay. Yes, every year, and that day is to,、um, let's say, remind major companies of the importance of making their brand positive in people's mind, making sure that they have a. Brand, I have a reputation to protect. In Chinese, we say 爱惜羽毛 I means love, right? Yes, and 爱惜 means、uh, cherish.、Mm. 羽毛 is feather. So when we say you need to cherish your feather, you're actually saying you need to protect your reputation. You need to make sure you don't make mistakes. You don't lose even one feather. Because、oh, we're birds, right? Because we're birds. <laughs> so, ai xi yu mao means don't make mistakes. Don't leave a stain on the image of your brand. And I think that is a pretty solid idea when you're doing, you know, brand building. It's very ideal, but yes. It's very, yeah, something that all companies should strive for. Yeah. So here, let me introduce to you a interesting Chinese expression. We say 金字招牌。金字招牌。金，金 means gold.、Mm-hmm. 字 is character. 字 character. 金字 Yes, 金字招牌。招招牌。牌 Yes, 招牌 is also the brand, but it's more like the billboard, the board. Okay. You have, or the plaque,、um, you have hanging over a shop's in、yeah. front of a shop, like a billboard.、Yeah. A billboard. So, 招牌 So,、uh, in the Chinese language, 金字招牌 means a billboard written in golden characters.、Mm-hmm. But it's not talking about the golden characters. It's saying that one, your brand is so solid, it's so great. Everyone believes in you, trusts your goods as long as it's your brand. You're basically having a 金字招牌 That brand itself sells. Okay, so the name just sells in the itself. The name sells. I think it's a nice. Um, expression, and、yeah. of course, in the Chinese market, there are 老字号老字号 Yeah, 老字号 means the old traditional brands in China.、Mm. Uh, there are 稻香村 I'm not really sure you've heard of it. It's、mm-hmm. a、um, brand for snacks and for pastries. Oh, and there are also 新潮牌 Xin means new. New. Chao means fashionable. Pai、mm. we know as Pai is a brand. Yeah. So, ah,、uh, there are also some Xin Chao Pai new fashionable brands, and also we say Xin Guo Huo new domestic brands,、mm. domestic goods. So these are all the efforts people make to, you know, make a name. Remember、themselves. us. Remember us. Spend your money with us. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So, 品牌效应 is still something. Brand, say, brand awareness, it's yeah,、huge. it's huge. It's very important, and as long as we 爱惜羽毛 make no mistakes, make sure the quality of the goods are well. After probably a rather long period of time, people will have the trust in the brands. Yeah, yeah, here's hoping. Here's hoping, and all the best luck to all the brands out there trying to make a name for themselves. After all, if they're doing a good job, we as customers would. You know, benefit as well. Sure, absolutely. And that brings us to the end of today's takeaway Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin with Tony here in the studio. For more episodes of the show, you can visit our website at ChinaPlus.CRI.CN and go to the column Podcast. There are also many podcast platforms where you can find us, and that's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, and Stitcher. In case you'd like to listen to some previous shows and leave your thoughts, comments, and ratings. 感谢收听，我们下次再见。再见。